95. It's 30 days late. It's 60 days late. They, they, they pay on time. Um, it's FICO scores. <laughs> Well, they caught up on their pants. Uh, another 30 days late. LTV 95, LTV 90. They, they caught up on their 60 pants. 60 days late. Jesus, well, LTV 110. I've never heard of that. 30 days late. Rated right? adjustments. You know, seven rated adjustments. 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 Jesus. Yes, it moved all day. He does this every few days. He hasn't spoke to me since he hired me. And an LTV of hey, high risk for interest on the internet. He's heard of this LTV. How? Michael, how are you, guy? Lawrence, I found something really interesting. Great, Michael. Whenever you find something interesting, we all tend to make money. What stock are you valuing? No, 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 no stocks. I want to, I want to short the housing market. Really? But the housing market is rock solid. Greenspan just said bubbles are regional, defaults are rare. Tell them, tell them I'll be there. Wait a minute. Say again? Well, look, Greenspan's wrong. I don't think you mean to do this, but sometimes you sound very dismissive and superior. It's a fact. Greenspan's wrong. I don't know how much you want your... Look, Michael, Metro Capital... Back to four years ago when you were a doctor with a... Dinky web page and some inheritance money. We've all done very well. Why don't you just stick with stocks? Look, you know me. I, 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 I look for value wherever it can be found. And the fact is that these mortgage-backed securities are filled with extremely risky subprime adjustable rate loans. And when the majority of the adjustable rates kick in in 07, they will begin to fail. And if they fail above 15%, the whole bond is worthless. Michael, just take, take, take a beat. We'll talk about this later. Okay? Lawrence, please don't patronize me. If it, it's... Mortgage-backed securities, it's, it, it's subprime all... loans, tranches, it's pretty confusing, right? Does it make you feel bored or stupid? Well, it's supposed to. Wall Street loves to use confusing terms to make you think only they can do what they do. Or even better, for you just to leave them the fuck alone. So here's Margot Robbie in a bubble bath to explain. Basically, Louis Rainieri's mortgage bonds were amazingly profitable for the big banks. They made billions and billions on their 2% fee they got for selling each of these bonds. But then they started running out of mortgages to put in them. After all, there are only so many homes and so many people with good enough jobs to buy them, right? So the banks started filling these bonds with riskier and riskier mortgages. Thank you, Banjo. That way, they can keep that profit machine churning, right? By the way, these risky mortgages are called subprime. So whenever you hear subprime, think shit. Our friend Michael Burry found out that these mortgage bonds that were supposedly 65% AAA were actually just mostly full of shit. So now he's going to short the bonds, which means to bet against. Got it? Okay. Now fuck off. It's only a matter of time before someone else sees this investment. We have to act now. How do you know the bonds are worthless? Aren't they filled with fucking thousands of pages of mortgages? I read them. You read them? I read, yes. No one reads them. Only the lawyers who put them together read them. I don't think that they even know what they've made. The housing market is propped up on these bad loans. I'm, it's a time bomb, and I want to short it. Through what instrument, Michael? There are no insurance contracts or options for mortgage bonds. The bonds are too stable. Lawrence, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to get a bank to make me one. And then I'm going to buy it.